All right, Dax, another day working on the Forerunner. Hopefully today we can get damn near close to being done with all the welding. We're guaranteed trying to get done with the welding today. I, I, that's, that has to happen. Look at Dave, sitting in the garage, rolling some sort of apparatus over there. Your knee hurts. Oh, that was good. What are you going to say? Dude. Like this this <laughs> I just grinded down to make those things good, and Dave's shimming up those tubes. We got to center those inside the frame, and then we weld that up, and then that's what the uh, hardware goes into to put the leaf springs on. So our goal today is to try to get the leaf springs on, and then figure out where we got to put the shock hoops. Try to get all the welding done today. That would be badass. Got this new little welder that uh, Countryman uh, sold me a couple weeks ago. It's an inverter based welder, so it seems to work better than Trey's welder. I don't know. Dan told me that it was better for the kind of stuff that we've been doing out here using a generator. Again, I don't really know. Could be complete and utter BS, but it, I mean, I tested it out the other day and it seemed that it like worked enough. And I asked Dave, hey, do you think this will work? And he says, looks fine, so. Yeah, it looks good. It'll be fine. Side one done, getting it painted right now. Dave even said, you know, trusted me to lay a little bead on the backside, so I got a little bit of something on there. But uh, yeah, this welder is awesome, man. It's ripping pretty good. Side number two done. Dave said, if you paint it while it's hot, like it bakes on there. Same thing as powder coating, just on a budget. All right, so we got the little rubber bushings in the frame and we're starting to put them in the actual leaf springs right now. We messed up though. We didn't realize that there was a difference between the leaf spring bushings and the shackle or and the frame bushings. So there's a little bit slightly difference. The ones that go in the frame are a little bit longer and the hole is a tiny bit bigger. Oh, no, tiny. You think the holes are the same? Just the way it's squeezed, squeezed in there. But those ones are a little bit longer. So we didn't realize that that was the issue. So we put them in wrong. So now I got to take these out of here and make sure I put them in the frame. And then Dave's gonna put the ones for the shackles inside there, so. Well, there we go. We got it all in, both sides. What's next? I'm hungry. Yeah, you wanna get some food? We'll get Dave some food and we'll come back here and uh, we'll get ripping on this. I could use a drink too, I'm not gonna lie. Definitely pretty thirsty. Both sides in there. Be excellent. Next thing, we gotta go for it. Oh shit, man, that's so crazy. Hey, go up, go down a little bit. This is almost lined up. I think. Looks like crooked. Yeah, it might be. This is definitely a difficult part. That one's in. Now you gotta go down yours a little bit, Dave. A little bit. Oh man, we're all hooked up. Holy dude. Alright, now we're gonna jack it up. And put the tires on and get everything kind of see where it sits. Damn, dude. Holy shit. I cannot believe it. Yeah, I guess with the flat tire, it's definitely riding pretty high in the front. 
Well, you gotta break them in too. They're gonna, they're gonna, it's gonna settle. It won't be this ridiculous. <clears throat> I mean, this is what you would run 37s and shit with. Like. I guess tomorrow we'll just like go ride the jumps for a bit now. Tomorrow we can take the tires back off, um, get the shock hoops all lined up. All right, we're gonna call for today, and then uh, tomorrow we're gonna get back cracking on it. But I'm 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 stoked right now. This looks this is crazy. Really, all we have to do left is the drive shaft. We gotta put the new drive shaft in, and then we gotta put uh, hoops, bump stops, brakes. Yeah. The so, steering box. Steering and you box. Plumb all that. Yeah, I got a new steering box, which is good. So you're still, still wow, that's a good size one. Sick boy. Where's Dan Dwyer? He'll pick that. Up. Damn, that's badass. Yeah. That snake is poisonous as shit. I know. That's why I got this dude. That's badass. Wow. God, I almost just absolutely killed you. What'd you say? It's Dax locked up, he said. Yes, he is. I don't have a, I don't have a... Yeah, Dave. Straight off the truck. Oh, oh shit. Wet. Trey's still on my bike. All right, let's go see if I did some damage to this thing. Oh, I see exactly where it happened. I like pumped into this thing super hard and look. Damn it. Yep. This whole thing, we just got to try to concrete or do something with because it just, it just, I mean, this is just wet from the weather, but I'm going to get a shovel, hit that in real quick. Max Dave's coming through. You ready, bud? Oh, that slid out. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's that spot, man. Dave slid out in the same spot that I did. I'm telling you, you come in too hot at that spot, we got to like concrete or something. You stay here. I'm going to set you guys up on the last jump. The world's greatest jump ever. Still really soft, but oh, all right. They're still so soft, but they feel pretty amazing. I got an idea for a cool shot. Everything feels pretty good right now. It's still really soft. So I think once it hardens up a bit more, we'll be able to do more like tricks and stuff like that. We let them dry out tonight. We're not gonna tarp them up. Once it dries out, they'll be dialed. This weekend, Sunday, big session. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Sucks it starts to get dark so early nowadays, but we're calling on that one. Gonna bring a little man home right now. Got a lot of work done today and even got to ride, so I'm pretty stoked on that. But I uh, hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, build and riding the dirt jumps again. Remember, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please hit the subscribe button. 
like these videos. I know it does something. I'm not really too sure what it does for YouTube, but something to do with the algorithm. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your- Real quick, before you click on the video, uh, all I gotta say is I had a really exciting phone call with the city today about Weirdo World, and I got some really good news. So I was kind of talking to them. Uh, I've been trying to get a hold of them for a little bit now. We had some issues getting connected, but we finally got connected. And they basically gave me the A-OK -okay to do pretty much anything that I want to do with the dirt-related stuff. That I cannot get in trouble for whatsoever. I got the word from them, like 100%. got it on record. We're 100% all good with that. So now I'm going to start building some more of the dirt stuff. We're going to build some new dirt lines and whatnot. And as you guys can see in this video, we're having so much fun with the dirt jumps. We already filmed the video last weekend on the dirt jumps again with everybody out there. So I want to build another line. Uh, we're figuring out on some machinery to help kind of like get this going. We have some friends with some machines. We're not sure if we're going to rent again. We haven't really quite figured that all yet. The main thing is just getting the dirt and then obviously getting straight to building. And this is my favorite thing to do. Like last year was so much fun building those dirt jumps with Trey and Herbach and everybody else who came out. What this means is we have one final drop for 2021. The last drop of all of 2021 and then we're shutting the site down until January of next year. We're doing five items for 50 bucks and I am going to be shipping them out at my house again. I put up that new site and within the first day having it up, I took it down because it just did not feel right. Me and my girlfriend both decided that it just some reason just doesn't feel the same when someone else is doing it for you. And we have this room, we have all this awesome stuff, and we genuinely like doing it. I like being able to put stickers in each one of your orders. I like being able to sign stuff. That's the stuff that I like to do, and it's like way more personal, and I'm not trying to get all that corporate bullshit, so I need to do it myself, and I know I need to do it myself, and I'm working on ways to get international shipping cheaper on my own so that I don't have to go through some other company and you know ruin the whole vibe of what Be Weird is. On top of that, it's not obbshop.com anymore, which is I'm very excited to announce that I finally got the URL beweirdshop.com. I wanted that for so long, I finally got my hands on it. We are gonna be running a mystery box on the site right now, the last thing of 2021, to basically kind of raise some more money for some dirt and get that stuff on the way. That's how we've been doing everything on this channel. Almost all the stuff that we ever do is just raising money through t-shirts. So five items, 50 bucks. It could be five t-shirts, it could be three t-shirts and two hats, it could be uh, random BMX parts, possibly. I got some new parts that I might throw into some people's orders. It could be random things around my house, like, uh, I don't know, my dog or maybe my cat. No, I'm just kidding, we're not gonna do that. But it's gonna be five random things, mainly shirt stuff, uh, possibly some couple bike parts for some lucky people out there. I'm gonna randomly throw those in so you have a chance to possibly get something that you didn't think you were gonna get. www.beweirdshop.com. So it's changed, I finally got the freaking URL that matches my damn brand. So I don't have to keep doing obbshop.com, which is like, didn't even make any sense anymore because the channel's not even a big boy anymore. It's just be weird. Today's a great day. I can freaking finally start doing something again at Weirder World. And I'm stoked this city is down to allow this to happen. And I promise you guys, it's going to be sick. So, all right. I'm out. Go ahead, the website.